Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install PostgreSQL on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for PostgreSQL and the first link which will appear here will be from PostgreSQL.org. So we are going to click on this link and here you will be able to see this download button. You can also see the download button at the top. So let me click on this download button here and here you will be able to see the download buttons for different operating systems. We are going to click on uh, Mac OS here and then it says interactive installer by EDB. Download the installer certified by EDB. So we are going to click on this link which says download the installer and then you have the installer for different versions of Mac OS and other operating systems. So we are going to uh, download the latest version which is 16.1 at the time of making this video. So I'm going to click on this uh, link which is for Mac OS X. So I'm going to click here which is going to start the download of this PostgreSQL OSX.DMG file. You will also see uh, this kind of window. You can accept this cookie here. The job of uh, this website is done because we have already downloaded the .dmg file. So once the .dmg file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this .dmg file and let me minimize the browser. Here, I just need to click on this uh, file here, which is going to start the installer. I can also minimize this uh, DMG file and then to start the installation you need to give your MacBook's password which you use to log into your Mac operating system and then this kind of installer will start. So here on the first window just click on next and this will be the installation directory. It will be in your library folder forward slash postgresql forward slash 16 so if you don't have the good reason to change this location just leave it as default and then click on next now here you can select the components it's going to install postgresql server pg admin 4 which is a gui client stack builder and command line tools we are going to uh, install all of them so i'm going to leave everything as default and then click on next this will be the data directory for postgresql so just leave it as default but if you want to remember it's the same directory and then Postgre is going to create this data directory in the PostgreSQL directory. So here all of your data base data will be saved, right? Click on next. Now here on the next window, you will be asked to provide the password which will be used as a super user password for the user Postgres. So provide a password here and then retype that password and then you can click on next. This will be the default port for the PostgreSQL. It's the standard port, so you can leave it as default and then click on next. Here you will be asked to uh, select uh, the local, so you can select from all these locales. I'm going to leave it as default, which is the default local, and then click on next. And then you have the pre-installation summary. So verify everything and then click on next. And then once again, click on next, which is going to start the installation of PostgreSQL. So at this point, you just need to wait for a few seconds until this uh, progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. And after a few seconds, you will be able to see this kind of message, which is completing the Postgre setup wizard. And you will also see this kind of pop-up, which says background item added for the Enterprise DB Corporation. I'm going to close this. And here, before clicking on the finish button, this is important, just uncheck this checkbox, okay? So what it's going to do is, if you uh, leave it as checked, it's going to launch the Stack Builder and uh, you have to install Stack Builder related tool, but I don't want to do it right now, so I'm going to uncheck this option. So just uncheck everything from here and then click on finish, which is going to finish your installation of PostgreSQL. So now Postgre is installed. Now when you go to the launch pad section, 
you will see this SQL shell is added to your uh, applications. Also, you have this PostgreSQL and you have this uh, PG admin 4, right? So you can use either SQL shell or PG admin 4 to connect to your PostgreSQL server. Let's use this PG admin 4 for connecting to uh, our PostgreSQL server. So I'm going to click on PG admin 4 icon here which is going to start the PG admin. So you can see it has started this PG admin uh, GUI application and now the PG admin 4 has been started. So here once uh, this PG admin 4 starts, you will see this uh, servers list here. And when you expand this list, you will be able to see PostgreSQL 16 here, right? And you will also see this kind of pop-up and it says, please enter the password for the user Postgre to connect to the server, right? So here you need to provide the same password which you have uh, given at the time of installation. I'm going to give the same password here and then I'm going to click on save password and then click on OK, which is going to connect to my PostgreSQL uh, server. And then I will be able to see the databases here. So here under databases, the default database is the Postgre database and then under the Postgre you will be able to see the list of uh, tables. The default Postgre database doesn't have any tables but uh, when you create a new table then you will be able to see the database under the table, right? So from here you can also create a new database. So let's create our database and I'm going to name this database as demo for example. You can also change the owner and you can also provide some other configuration for your database like definition, security, parameter and other things. For now I just want to create a simple demo database so I can just uh, write this uh, name here and then click on save which is going to create this database, right? And then when you select the demo database and go under schema, so click on schema and here you will see the public schema and then under public uh, you can see the tables. So you don't have any table here right now. So I can create a new table and I'm going to name my table as for example names table. I can also provide the columns here. So here let's provide let's say the ID column and then the data type for that so I'm going to choose integer here and then you can also choose if it's a primary key or not. So let's say it's a primary key and then I'm going to provide the second uh, column which is for example name and the type will be let's say text here. Okay, so you can also search for text type and then you can save this table which is going to create this table and then you have the column which is name. Now you can once again right click on the table and then if you have some data you can select the view option and then click on all rows which is going to show you the content of all rows in that table. So this is how you can install PostgreSQL on your Mac operating system and use PG admin to connect to your database. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.